I help you? Uh, I'm here for a job. I sent in an application. You have an appointment? I think I do. Okay, what's your name? My name's Emily. You're gonna have to speak up, honey. I didn't catch it. Emily Ashton. Emily Ashton? Yes. Okay. Pat a cake, pat a cake. Baker man, make me a cake as fast as you can. said your prayer. You're a good girl, Emily. Thank you. Your daughter. Touch her! Tell her to shut up! Don't forget, your mother is watching you. Don't you, you do it for you? Don't you don't do you. that! you too. I'll be there in a moment. Okay. You can go in. Thank you. Well, here she is. The previous employee left because of high stress and low pay. To be sorted, stamped, and archived. Green's on the left, red's on the right. Stamps are in the drawer, and archives are over that. I'm so sorry. I'll, f I'll fix it. I'll put them back in order. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. I'll, I'll get them back sorted. Mr. Dickens. Yes, Emily. I want to introduce you to my assistant. This is Miss Corey. Senior Assistant Vice President, to be correct. Excuse me, sir. Emily. I just want to let you know how happy I am to have you here. If there's anything that you need, don't hesitate. Come to my office. What is it, Phillips? I hope you don't have a problem with men grabbing you from behind and complimenting your ass. Do you? Oh, I love your bracelet. Where'd you get it from? My mother gave it to me. Let me take a closer look. No, at I should get to work. Oh, I see.
You're working up a storm there. You know what you're doing? Peter. Yeah, boss. You want to hear a good joke? Sure, boss. You know why women are so wasteful with money? No, um... You ever hear of a piggy bank with a slot underneath it? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Coffee? Decaf. Is this all you've done? Yes, sir. I've, I've been trying to, to do it fast and well. Emily, you're going to need to pick up the pace if you want to continue to work here for us. I understand, sir. You want to do right by me, don't you? Emily. Yes, sir. What do you do at night? Nothing, sir. Come on, I don't believe that. Don't you have any friends? No one I'm close to. How would you like to go and grab a drink? I don't drink, sir. I see. Very well. Get back to work. My dating coach, Patty. Well, you wouldn't think I'd need a dating coach, would you? <laughs> so she said, you know what you need to do, Corey? You just need to be yourself. And you don't need to worry about anything. So I went out this one time with this guy, and he said he was in sales. These need to be finished by tonight. No exceptions. Then I'll have more for you. Yes, sir. just wanted to get out of there and be alone. God is protecting you. I've got to go. I know someone's in there, I can see your shadow.
Mr. Dickens. I brought the paperwork. I need this completed by tomorrow. I knocked on the door. Here you go. Nobody answered. May me. I come in? Sir, no, sir, sir. Wait, sir. You don't have to be frightened of me, you know. I can do quite a lot for you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, that sort of thing. Please put that down. I'd like to know more about you. What you like to do, what you enjoy. Come on, you can't be that boring. Emily, what's your passion? Everyone has to have a passion. Mine's women. Emily, I want you to look at me. Stop fighting it, Emily. Oh, Mr. Dickens. Why'd you have to come here? I'll take you to the hospital. Come on. Come on. Even if love is evasive to me and love doesn't come my way, and it seems that it never will. I love and accept myself. Love doesn't come my way. My mother always said, I don't you should live believe. every day as if it was your last. Because you just never know. People don't see Just fine, Emily. It's the past that burrows now, guiding you ahead, forward and forward you go. Oh, don't you run away now, they'll never know. It's there, inside, that little head. Gone. 